It happened this week. Television actress Bonnie Franklin died Friday in Los Angeles. From 1975 to 1984, Franklin starred as a single mom, Anne Romano, on the CBS hit One Day at a Time. Believe it or not, Ripley, I was 16 myself once. Alongside and Mackenzie Phillips and Valerie Bertinelli, who played her teenage daughters. Written by Norman Lear, the show dealt with provocative topics in the mold of his other hit, All in the Family. Finding humor in the everyday tribulations of a divorced mother juggling career, love life, and parenting. Hey, I argued and argued with my mom about it, but she won't let me go. She's so stubborn. She's a rock. A California native, Franklin began acting at age three, an accomplished singer and dancer. She made her mark on Broadway in 1970, earning a Tony nomination for her work in Applause, starring Lauren Bacall. But it was for her role as a struggling yet determined mother guiding her daughters through adolescence yeah. that the world remembers it. Bonnie Franklin died of pancreatic cancer. She was 69. And we learned of the death from bone cancer on Wednesday of Van Cliburn. The pianist from a small town in Texas who at the age of 23 startled the Soviets and the rest of the world by winning the first international Tchaikovsky competition in Moscow in 1958. Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev himself reportedly approved the judge's decision to award Clyburn the prize, and he returned to the U.S. a Cold War hero, welcomed with a ticker tape parade on Broadway and a portrait on the cover of Time magazine. His recording of Tchaikovsky's first piano concerto sold a million copies. He was a star on the Bell Telephone Hour in 1960. But he decided to retire from touring in 1978. He made a return to the spotlight in 1987 when he performed at the White House for visiting Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. He made his last public appearance this past September in Fort Worth. Never forget, I love you all from the bottom of my heart forever. Harvey LeVan Clyburn, Van Clyburn, was 78.